Can you really draw an app or a game on a piece of paper and then have AI turn it into a fully functional version of whatever you drew? Well, that's what we're trying today. So let's start off with the sample that they gave and it's basically a drawing app or whiteboard app. So we can have some circles up here and these are going to be different colored brushes. So we can just have some arrows here and just imagine I went to school for programming and here we are years later and I am able to draw and maybe code through drawings. Now we're going to add our doodle area just so you can see it better, here is what we are working with. So we have it on Gemini 2.5 Pro, we have Canvas enabled, we have uploaded the image, and we just use this prompt, can you code this app? We're gonna add the question mark, and we're going to hit submit. So it is going to read the app, and hopefully it is able to code it. So this is very similar to the one that Google showed off with Gemini, and we will get more advanced in this video, and I will show you some really cool ones. We're gonna try to make some games, and we're gonna try to duplicate one of Google's more popular apps, and we'll see what it's able to do. So it already knows this is a Doodle app here, and it has a whole plan. It has a color palette, a Doodle area, and then a surprise me button. Uh, that's not exactly what I thought, but okay, we're gonna see what it can do. It is all finished. I just went to share canvas, got the link so you can see it full screen. So here it is off a single prompt that we have made from us drawing. So here's the red, we have orange, and it even says what color you've changed to down below. It gives you the hex color, and then we have a surprise me button, which adds just random stuff to it, and even added a clear canvas button. So listen, I just coded this through a drawing, which is pretty wild. And if you're enjoying content like this, you should subscribe. Seriously, it takes a second of your time. It's free to do. And I cover the latest and greatest AI content each and every day. So you can keep up to date with the latest AI trends, news, and everything else. So just take a moment, click the subscribe button. Let's continue on and make a game from a photo. So this time around, we are going to try a game. So we're going to have our square here. We're going to have some ground. So over here, we're adding our dino. We are going to have our cactuses move towards player infinitely. So the cactuses are moving towards our dinosaur and ideally this game will happen forever. I have no idea how it's gonna figure this one out because as you can see, my drawing is not very good. We have like cross cactuses. I have no idea what those are. They look bad. The dinosaur, the feet, he just looks terrible. Let's see if it can figure it out. So we have our image uploaded. We have our prompt. Can you code this app? And it says just a second. So let's see it's thinking in the meantime. It says users provided an image that describes a simple game and it looks like a variation of the Chrome Dinosaur game. All right, well, it's way faster than me. It's already starting to code it. So let's see what it's actually doing. The character is a dino that can jump, obstacles move towards a player, infinite gameplay until a collision occurs, and it's going to even add a scoring system. So this is wild. Keep in mind, this is the drawing. It is brutal. I am not an artist. I was a programmer, but I guess maybe I should go into art. Clearly, I picked the wrong profession because art to code is where it is at. Here we go. Look at this thing versus my dino thing. All right, let's start game. And how do I jump? Oh, spacebar. Okay, let's do it. Boom, boom. All right, this is off a single prompt. Oh, I can even jump over that. And you know what's interesting? There is an error, but it works like flawlessly. So this is pretty wild what we just were able to make. Just for fun, what is the error? It says, oh, it's just a console log. It says game initialize, press space to start or up arrow. All right, so no error, it just worked. It is time to ramp up the difficulty. Can we clone Google Keep from a really terrible drawing into code? So let's start by drawing. Just for your sake here, you can see our terrible drawing. So we can take a note here and expand the text. And it says we can also add a label. And on the left here, we said labels. And if you click them, it'll sort with a label or we can click notes to see everything. Here's where the notes will be saved. I even added this little circle with a pen. I wonder if it'll pick that up. And then we said, hey, we can add more to the notes. So like an image or a pen. So let's see what it is able to do here. Let's see if it is able to pick up that I'm making a note app very similar to Google Keep. Okay, I can help you code a web application of your sketch. This will be an HTML CSS using Tailwind CSS and JavaScript application 
that captures the core features you outlined, a main area to add view notes, a sidebar for filtering by labels, and it has a whole plan of how to make it. And it has filtering, operations, and persistence. Notes will be able to be saved in the browser's local storage so they remain even after you close the tab. So this is note-taking app version one. So it didn't pick up that I copied or got inspiration from Google Keep, but hey, it's still making it for us. What does it look like? How does it work? We're about to find out in mere seconds. Just like before, we copied the link, we open it up here. So here is our note-taking app. So let's add a title called subscribe. We're gonna add some content. It even said it accepts markdown. We can have a label. So let's call this work. We can even add optional images. So let's hit save note. And here is our note, which we can now edit or we can hit cancel. So I have a couple of notes now, so we can click ideas and it'll actually show only the notes with ideas. We can flip to work and it'll show only the notes with work, or we can hit all notes and it'll show all of the notes. So it works very similar to Google Keep, which is crazy considering we started with this. Let's just quickly take it to the next level. I want the add note section to be an expand and I want the colors and whole scheme to take inspiration from Google Keep. All right, the next version is, wow, okay, this looks pretty awesome. So we have all our notes, we can click take note, and it looks a lot cleaner. So I'm just gonna add another note here called subscribe, and the caption of this is now, and I'm just gonna add a label called YouTube. As you can see here, I actually tested the image, and it looks really good, and it sorts it in order from like newest to oldest. So now we can jump around from our ideas to YouTube, back to all notes, we have our labels, and we have our beautiful working app called Take Note. It is absolutely insane what you're able to do with AI right now, and it is only going to get better, and the only way you can keep up to date is by subscribing. And if you enjoyed videos like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It tells the YouTube algorithm you enjoy content like this and you wanna see more of it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is this going to replace coders? No, probably not. It is good for like a napkin scratch to proof of concept really quickly. I mean, you can make some pretty cool apps like the ones I have showed you, but I don't know how far and how advanced you can make this off a single image. And if you do try this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how advanced you can make yours. Maybe I'm completely wrong. And like I said, it will improve over time. So there's that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see at FranklinAir.com where you're meant to be.